certain thing. So, because if x, if x minus four times 17x plus two, okay, if I can multiply x minus four times a bigger number, well then this thing actually here will be in fact less, less than this x minus four times the bigger number. And we know a bigger number, we know a number that's bigger than 17x plus two, it's 87. 17x plus two is always less than 87. So that means that uh, x minus four times 87, that this must be less than that particular that particular uh, product here. Okay. Now let's divide by. So now what we have is x minus four times seventeen x plus two. The absolute values. Okay, that that's less than x minus four times eighty. What did I say? Times eighty-seven. Okay. Uh, if I divide this by number, if I divide this, how can I keep this less? I want to divide this by a number and divide this by a number, but to maintain the inequality, yeah, to, to maintain the less than. So I need to divide this by a number that's bigger than the number over here. So for example, uh, four over five is in fact less than four over three. So we have effectively this inequality. If I divide this here now by a bigger number than what I divide by over here, I'm good. But the number I want to divide by over here is the absolute value of 51x plus 85. So do I know a number that's smaller than this number? Which we do know. We know that 248 is smaller than 51x plus 85. So if I divide this now by 238, 248, what I now have is that the absolute value of x minus 4 times the absolute value of 17x plus 2, all over the absolute value of 51x plus 85, is in fact less than 87, 238 times, oh, times, oops, times x minus 4. Okay? Now, what we need to make sure of, yeah, is that this thing here is less than epsilon, okay? We need to make sure that this is less than epsilon, okay? So we need to make sure that this is less than epsilon. We'd also have to make sure that this is less than epsilon. So let's force this. So let's uh, force uh, 87, 238, 200. Let's force 87, 238 times x minus 4 to be less than epsilon. Well, what does this tell us? This implies that x minus 4 must be less than 238, 238 87s okay, of epsilon. So now we have now we have a situation where we've reduced our conclusion okay, down into what we have from our premise. So now we know that x minus 4 must be less than 238 87s of epsilon for this to actually work. So really now we have two possible deltas. We have the delta from our restriction, one, and we have the delta from our reduction of the conclusion. Okay. So we now have so we now have two deltas. Uh, the delta, the first delta is equal to one. So <clears throat> what we now have is we have our candidate, our candidate deltas, okay, uh, are elements of of the set one and 238 over 87 epsilon. Okay, horrible numbers that we're dealing with here. But look here, it's just it's just algebra, yeah. So let's just work with that. So let's start the proof. So we've found our delta. So our delta is one of these two things. So let's choose the minimum. Let's always go. If we have two choices between delta for our deltas, let's choose the smallest delta because if the smallest delta works. Uh, it's going to work for the for the bigger delta also. Okay, so let's let's choose so let's choose delta to be equal to the minimum of one and two hundred twenty eight eighty sevenths of epsilon. Okay, and let's just say let's just say that uh, that delta equals one is the min. Okay, of one and two hundred twenty eight. 87 of epsilon. Okay, so let's just say let's just say that that minimum value is is in fact one. So what does this tell us? Yeah. Well, what we now know is the relationship between one and epsilon. We now know. So let's just say that the delta is one. So what we now know from this fact is that one must be less than 228 87 of epsilon, which implies that 87 over 228 must be less than epsilon. Okay. Now let's start our conclusion. Now let's start our proof, okay? So let's say 
say uh, that x minus four is in fact less than one, okay? Well, what does this imply? This implies that x minus four times 17x plus two must be less than one times, well, this number multiplied by this number. If I can multiply this number by a number that's bigger than this, well then, what we know is that this will be less than, and we know the number that's bigger than this, okay? We know what that is. What number is bigger than 17x plus two? It's 87, so this must be, this must be true. And just to get rid of the one here, this implies that x minus four times the absolute value of 17x plus two must be less than 87. Uh, and what we want to infer is we want to get we want to get this particular conclusion here, okay, which is the same as getting this particular fact here. So if I divide this, so x minus four times the absolute value of 17x plus two, 